This is 230 Boland Drive. It's a four unit building. Um, that's Ohio Street there. And as you can tell, it is uh, trash day. It's curbside pickup. Bangor does curbside pickup. So uh, this is a really good location. It's about an hour and a half to an hour and a half, a mile and a half to Hassan College. Uh, it's literally just like walking distance to the airport mall, uh, airport national guard base. Um, these are three bedroom, one bath townhouses, um, about 1300 square feet. So um, pretty good size. They um, were built in the late 50s, early 60s. So they're a little newer than what Bangor typically has. That's still pretty old. I mean, 50, 60 years, but that's about half the age of our typical like 100, 120 year old. So um, has stove, fridge that comes with it. Um, has like a little pantry area here. Uh, does have washer dryer hookup. So washer dryer hookup is side by side. Um, pretty good sized kitchen. And then it walks into either a really big living room or dining room, living room combo. Um, people use it both ways. This is like a tile. Um, some people use area rugs. That's kind of up to what somebody wants to do. Um, the one neat thing I'll say about this building is the um, right behind it doesn't have buildings directly. It's actually um, kind of like treed. So you have a step out onto like a concrete and then you've got space that, you know, is just trees behind. A lot of these types of situations you have a building just like that, like right beside it. So that's kind of neat from that perspective. Um, this uh, does have its own thermostat. It controls the heat for the whole unit. Um, so you do get to control that. Uh, it does have a bunch of closets. One thing I'll say about these is, again, our typical like 100, 120 year old place has got tiny closets. These have got really big closets. That is certainly a nice feature. There's a closet here under the stairs. Um, and then, again, a third closet. But, I mean, it's kind of nice because it gives a place to hang stuff. Um, and then you go upstairs and it's got three bedrooms and a full bath. I should have turned the light on, sorry. It is wood floors up here. Um, oh, actually, I think the light's on. Yes, the light's on. So you do have, again, wood floors coming up the stairs and wood floors in all the bedrooms. They're older, but um, it's certainly a lot nicer than carpet, which gets, you know, stinky and dirty, et cetera. So the uh, bath has a fan, I guess. Uh, and then it's a tub, shower, combo. Again, it's just like Waha. It does have the little medicine cabinet. Um, we had a leak in the last tenant over here, which damaged the floor a little bit. It is like a vinyl though. So um, something that probably get just one more tenant out of, but it is gonna be that way when somebody moves in. Um, bedroom wise, it's got two sort of like medium sized bedrooms. And again, I guess I could have turned the lights on, but still they're decent size. This one I think is about the same size as that one. Again, I will say the closets here are a little bit bigger than you typically see. They do a little bit of overhead storage too. And then uh, this is the master. This is definitely big enough to do a king size bed, which is kind of nice. Um, it's got, the, again, this definitely has the biggest closet. And not only does it have this huge closet here, but then it's got like a walk-in for like storage. Um, in fact, in most of the other units we've had, we've put up a big closet rod in here. So um, unless the tenant doesn't want us to do that, we will do that here as well. Um, I think it makes sense and more than happy to do that. Cause I mean, you have this whole length of rod. I mean, it's just huge. So um, happy to put up another closet rod there if somebody wants. Get another angle of this. So that completes 230 Bowling Drive. If you'd be interested, let us know.